G'day everyone. Well, as of today, I'm officially going to start doing a pod culture. I have uh, uh, today received, it would be 16 ounces of Tisby Coper pods. It also has uh, rotifers in there as well. I shined the light up against it. I mean, as you would know from watching previous videos, you're never going to be able to pick anything up on camera because uh, Tisby uh, Coper pods are one of the smallest ones and perfect for mandarin dragonettes, which is what we do eventually want to get. But I'm going to set it up in this one gallon glass container. We were actually really lucky to find these at Walmart for a dollar each. Um, I've got a few more of them. Uh, I'm going to do a phytoplankton culture in one of them and uh, do copepods pods in the other two. Um, but yeah, very happy um, with the copepods pods that I received today. Um, if you'd like to know where I got it from, just leave a comment in the comments below and I'll share you the link. Um, but yeah, so far I'm really happy. Um, I'm also, I'm not going to use the, the whole um, 16 ounces um, in this culture. I'm going to probably use about a quarter of it and let them breed up. I've got about two litres roughly of phytoplankton salt water mix in this jug. Uh, it's a gallon jug. Um, and the rest of it I shall be putting into the 125 to seed the tank because we're still having a phyto phytoplankton bloom in here. I've had the lights turned off the only time I've been turning it on is uh, for a few minutes just to feed a solitary clownfish. I think the main reason why it hasn't been going away is um, during the night I've got the light on for the Kato down in the sump. And the Kato is just growing like crazy down here got one of these Kato Max um, LED lights which is specifically designed for growing Kato. I bought that from Marine Depot. Yeah. And that, that Kato is just like quadrupled in size if not more. Got a little bit of um, Crown of Flames macroalgae in there as well. But yeah, I, I didn't want to stop the light down here because We've never succeeded in growing Kato before. Everything we've tried before, the crappy lights that we've uh, used, it just always dies. But now we're finally succeeding in growing a lot of Kato. Um, I want to keep it going. So I'm sure by having um, the Kato Max light on all night, it's probably promoting the continued growth of the phytoplankton. So I thought now that I've got some cobra pods, what better time than now to seed the tank with copepods and and what do copepods do? They eat phytoplankton. So I'm expecting the copepods to breed like crazy and, and feast out on all this phytoplankton and get this issue under control. But for now, this is the beginning of culturing my own thought it'd be nice to be able to culture my own cobra pods especially like once we I mean it's going to take a little while before we get fish uh, before I'm happy with the uh, 125 um, so yeah I'd like to start culturing cobra pods as well and in preparation for when we do get fish um, I've got everything well underway and all mature and I'm, I'm experienced in what I'm doing because I've never cultured copper pods before so it's going to be a learning experience for me and uh, so yeah I'm going to end up having one one of these 
jars for culturing phytoplankton and uh, two of them for culturing copepods and and uh, however often I need to I'll drain out probably half of the copepods and put it in the main display tank um, just to keep things going so yeah it's a new step for me and uh, see how things go and uh, fingers crossed the copepods are gonna have a big hearty appetite and just devour all the um, phytoplankton in the 125 and get that under control and uh, looking forward to continuing on with the 125. So here now I have all three jars set up. The one on the left is a pod culture, the one on the right is a pod culture and the one in the middle is a phytoplankton culture. Running airline tubing into all three with the pod culture, just have it bubbling slowly. Let's see this one. You don't need a lot of bubbles with the pod culture with the phytoplankton I just used a bit of tubing that you use for RODI systems which also is about the same size plugs in a little branched off there and I've got that fully open bubbling flat out So it'd be good to be supplementing my pod population in my 125 by doing my own culture. I'll probably see how long it takes. This being my first experience in doing uh, pod cultures. Um, the idea is as they eat the phytoplankton the water will gradually turn more clear and then as that happens I'll be able to take some phytoplankton from there because usually every five days to a week you need to split the culture you can't leave it go too long I've found from experience if you leave it for about two weeks without splitting it it just ends up crashing so I'll see how long it takes for the pods to eat the phytoplankton and if I'm lucky it'll, it'll take about five days to a week and I'll be able to split the culture and put um, a quarter of that in there and a quarter of that in there and it'll work out perfectly and what I take out of these uh, the pod, pod cultures I can put in the main display and just keep reseeding and building the population in there. I put about a quarter of the pod uh, bottle that I bought in there and a quarter of it in there so half of it did go in the 125 so yeah looking forward to now doing my own uh, pod culture and um, feeding it with my own phytoplankton and uh, and ha have the uh, copepod population um, increasing sufficiently in the 125 to eat all the phytoplankton that seems to be booming uh, in there. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and uh, as usual if you're not subscribed to my channel uh, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe button uh, and I'll get back to you on the next video.